Hmm. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Sean, what's going on? Uh, fuck. I've been watching a lot of videos today. And, uh, wow. Okay, where to start? One is, uh, let me get to my history here. One is, have you guys seen this video? Uh, about this female veteran who was basically attacked and cuffed by uh, forestry <laughs> forest fucking rangers with the cops watching them I don't know where it was you guys gotta watch the video you can find it. Veteran banjo player arrested at Syria protest. I mean, not okay. Held in undisclosed location. I don't know where it is, so watch this shit. These fucking coward, treasonous, tyrannical, brainless, emotionless, disgusting. Did I say coward? piece of the fucking shit with their fucking ten fucking badges and their fucking guns. You put those down and guess what? We would see your true personality come out because all you fucking people care about is power. It's disgusting. It's disgusting what it, this, these people, these fucking keepers of the law that swore an oath to the Constitution. And they don't even know what the Constitution is, nor do they care. I probably make more money than them a year, not bragging because I'm broke, but I'm in a cleaning business. These motherfuckers, making whatever they're making, 12, 15, 30, whatever bucks an hour, and they think that... Uh, That, that they're doing right, or they're helping society, they're to pr protect and serve. You're fucking... <sighs> what, what's the word I'm looking for? You're uh, public servants. And if we're not doing nothing wrong, you best be on your fucking way. You ain't none of you dummy, one fucking good ever. And this video makes me lose respect for all law enforcement because y'all should be stepping up and fucking making sure this shit doesn't go on to represent you it's fucking bullshit it's sick it's sick somebody would have got fucking pop knot up top of their motherfucking head and I've been there I've been right along with the riding in a paddy wagon I guarantee you a couple fucking eyes dotted Fucking bullshit, punk ass, fucking authoritative figure, fucking douchebag, pussy motherfuckers. Watch this video. Thanks, Dooley, for bringing it to my attention. And I know somebody else passed this, or I, I don't know who else you got this from, but thanks, man, or ma'am, man, <laughs> whoever, thank you. Um, That needs to be seen by everybody. By everybody because this is the way it's gonna be everywhere all the time <clears throat> not in my backyard <clears throat> as old George Carlin would say okay moving on sickening and it's everywhere fucking highway patrol think there's some kind of fucking special agent fucking SWAT team or something think they're fucking I don't know what they think they are they think, <laughs> but they ain't and they are really Missouri Highway Patrol is really overstepping their authority and uh, they're doing stuff that totally 
steps on the Constitution in the United States, which brings me back to this. We're going to get into that here in a minute. Well, you know what? Right now might be just a good time. Okay, this is from when I was uh, 17 years old. I started to go to Merrimack uh, College, uh, you know, it's a cheap little college <laughs> uh, that I had to pay classes for, whatever, and I started going to criminal law and procedure because I was going to be a fucking cop. <laughs> <clears throat> So anyway, you know, I almost I almost signed up in fucking Marines, but I didn't because I like to party too hard, <laughs> and uh, never made it. But uh, my buddy tried to get me in, and I just I didn't because uh, I was too comfortable in my life, I guess. Um, then I thought I'm gonna be a cop, you know. I want to help people. I want to make a difference, and of course, you know, you get to carry a gun. Fuck, man, who wouldn't? <coughs> so I started doing these classes. And a few other ones, and I was on my way. I even rode along with the police in their cars on rides and calls, and I went to the academy, and participated in a lot of things, or observed more than participated. But <clears throat> I saw how everything was going, and I saw what, and I didn't even know nothing about this shit. I was still a young man, didn't care really about nothing, and I. I just saw that they're just a different breed. They think they're above the law. Okay, I went on a ride along one time with this cop, and we, you know, we were in a kind of a poor part of the neighborhood, and him and his friends are fucking joking about. And I, I was with him on one of these uh, when he made a stop on these poor people. He tells a poor family because I come from one and never had any money to fix their cars up because you know. Costs a lot of money, especially if you don't know how to do it. If you're a single mom with kids and you get a screwed over by some asshole, you ain't got no fucking money. You can't fix your car. And they, these cops think it's funny giving these poor people fucking uh, violations and tickets so it costs them more money to get their shit fucking fixed after they get it fixed. And they thought it was funny. And I thought, you motherfucking low life pieces of fucking shit. Who the fuck do you think you are? That could have been my mom and me and my little sister and my grandma living in misery, not having no money for fucking nothing. Food, bills, whatever. Checking or writing bouncing checks was normal back then, okay? I mean, that's just how you lived. And uh, these cops, I lived it because we used my mom. We didn't have no money to fix nothing. I didn't know how to do nothing. I didn't have no dad show me nothing, okay? So... That just showed me right there what kind of people they were. And I used to say, you know, some good cops. Like, you know what? Fuck that, man. This is bullshit. Y'all, if you're good cops, need to put an end to this stuff. Because if not, then you're just, uh, you're not honoring your oath. And therefore, we have no use for you. We are paying your fucking salary. Earn it. You earn respect. People don't... People don't, uh, you know... Think about that. Who, nobody cares about that. Fucking who cares, right? No respect anymore in this fucking sick... fake country we live in. It's disgusting. Moving on. Uh, I was going to talk about bullying or something. and uh, All I know is I hate bullies. I've never been a bully. I was bullied in, as a kid and um, into my second year of high school. I used to be a skinny kid. I wasn't a nerd, but I just wasn't a, you know, in a cool crowd or whatever. Did my own thing. But uh, I was disrespected and picked on and um, made to have bad, uh, you know, kids are. I had self conscience and shit. And then. I kind of hit puberty or whatever, and I started getting bigger, and I started working out, and then I started training, learning how to take, protect myself, learning how to fight, learning about whatever. 
And uh, after that, I come back my junior year. You mean the biggest fucking bully? You done bitch slapped me before the party my freshman year. He wanted to be my friend. Cause he knew I'd beat the fuck out of him. I don't fuck around. I don't like confrontation. I turn the other cheek. But you come bringing shit to me or my friends or my family or an innocent person or animal. I will fuck you up bad. Real bad. <clears throat> it's the way it is. You know, I'll try and use reasonable force, even though the police don't. Right? Okay. There's some other shit I was going to talk about, and I can't fucking remember now. Let's go through my history, and I'll probably find it. Okay, I know one thing. Daniel Vincent uh, Kelly is a very smart dude. And does his fucking homework. And, you know, you can agree with him or not agree with him. But he's telling you the truth. We've got fucking hundreds, if not thousands, of dead whales on the shores of the, the Fukushima shore. Because we've got radioactive waste being dumped in there in a controlled manner just to get rid of it under the fucking bedrock. Because they built a fucking uh, a trap door to let it out. This whole world's going to be poisoned within... 10 years, 20 years, within 5 years, and we're worried about Syria, I mean, we are, it, what's a distraction for what anymore, I don't even know, Every, we're getting poisoned everywhere, in our oceans, from above, in our foods, in our drinking water, big pharma, that makes you fucking sick. I, and right now I'm feeling sick, like I could throw up. Like I could throw up, man. I can't even fucking eat half the time. All I've done is drink a whole pot of coffee today. That's it. I'm on my last part of the pot of coffee, a whole pot. Whew. Fucking makes me sick, man. I wanted to give a shout out to my... I don't know if you're watching my videos or not. but um, G-Nut Resurrected. That man, uh, he's a real deal. He's a good man and a uh, very smart man. Um, you ought to pay attention to him and, and watch some of his videos. Uh, he don't sugarcoat it, you know. He tells it like it is, kind of like Dooley does, like I do, you know, like my buddy, like Joke, Joko Flyer does. Um, you know, and there's so many more of you guys. You know, what's up, Blue Eyed Jen? What's up, Soundstar? Uh, you know, we miss you guys. I ain't ain't heard from you much. Um, uh, I guess I've been away a little bit myself, so trying to catch up on everything is is, is insane. Um, and now the Syria thing, we're probably gonna go to war. What's that gonna mean? And that kind of got me to thinking about the bully thing. Um, what if we get like Russian troops? What are we gonna? Uh, there, if we do this, there's a chance that. We can get invaded or attacked, and there's probably already troops here. It's a big, sick, twisted web, like a like a dream catcher, but reversed. It's sick. It's sick. You'll never, we'll never know the true story. Just like 9/11, we know it ain't what they said. We know there's all these false flags and lies and twists and your friends and backstabbing and making you think this to that to this and that it's crazy look over here while we're doing this we got this 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 ice and nuclear fucking kardashians fucking <laughs> oh my god shout out tiddly winksist too you ought to check his channel out gives uh, great news updates no bs quick and to the point good kid let's see what else we got I just can't get away from the moon thing man I know you know people take get offended because they were very proud of that when they were when if I would have liked to you know live through that well I was a little baby I guess in 72 but it didn't happen it couldn't happen it cannot fucking physically happen it cannot happen theoretically it cannot happen scientifically it cannot happen 
It's disappointing. It's disgusting. I don't like because I don't be. Li I don't like liars. I don't like being lied to. I fucking detest it. I hate it. And we got our government doing it to us. And that's a huge, disgusting lie. And these people have lived with it. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're fucking pieces of shit, man. Even if, even if they were told, made to do this, fucking sell out. If you sell out, you need to fucking take yourself out. Um, I just want to say good to see, uh, Steve USMC page, uh, back up and, and throwing some videos together and, uh, getting this message out. Uh, what's up, Steve? Uh, really, really, ever since your first video, man, I kind of just felt connected to you somehow, and, uh, I really, I really appreciate you and what you've done for our country, sacrifices you made and, uh, still are making to this day. Much respect. I love you, man. <sighs> Let's see here. As as the same goes for Old Marine as well. You guys are awesome. You guys are heroes. You know, you guys are heroes. People throw that fucking term around so loosely. Everybody's a hero. Okay, and I, I, I'm sure you too. You would never claim that upon yourself, but you you, you both are. <laughs> You both are, in my eyes. Okay, guys. I'm uh, going to close this one up. It's getting really long. Let's see if I got anything else real quick here. I uh, can't get enough of PK-22's videos on the Boston bombing and such. Uh, you got to check them out. PK-22, awesome. Uh, John McDonough, as always, very good to see videos from you, brother. And... Uh, Let's see here. I know I do shout outs, but hey man, I'm talking to my peep. <laughs> I don't, you know, have too many other peep in my life, so love y'all, man. I really do. And uh shit it's a fan, you got a friend in me, St. Louis, Missouri. I'm in uh Baldwin, Manchester area of Missouri. So you know, hit me up, man. <clears throat> um I guess that's it for now. Um, I really don't like uh, what I'm seeing with the more evidence of 9-11. I mean, the more I look, the more I just see, you know, it's controlled demolition. I mean, you can't. I got to look at Building 6. Somebody brought it up to me. I mean, I thought they just knocked those other buildings down after the whole area, you know, a couple weeks, months, whatever. But I think there's something up with Building 6, too. I got to look into Everybody, maybe you could fill me in before I can get to it. I still got to go to fucking work t later. It's 2.32 the afternoon. I didn't sleep at all last night. The last four nights I got one night of sleep because I was exhausted the night before last. And, uh, I don't know. But shit's going to fucking hit the fan. And it sounds, I never thought I'd say that, but it is. And <laughs> I need to start prepping. <laughs> oh, my God. I can barely get by enough to just live. So... I know it's no excuse. Martin Brodell, you guys need to check this man out. This is the most stand-up guy I've ever seen that's going to run for governor in Colorado. And I can't tell you how much respect I have for him and how much I've learned from him. And I look forward to listening to him every day, as are y'all. So, Martin, uh, much respect, sir. Good luck on your journey. Um... Anyway, guys, uh, I got, I'm going to close it off there. Even though I, I just feel like talking right now, even though earlier I didn't. <laughs> uh, Sean Y., what's up, too, brother? Man, uh, keep on fucking speaking the truth, brother. You're young. You're our future. All right, guys, that's it. Extreme Patriot. Sean out. Peace. No war in Syria. Not in my fucking name.